Hello class head. good morning. Welcome back to the class once again. To remind you, we are doing the social and religious reformers in India. And in the previous classes, we learnt about two reformers. Who are they? Iswar Chandra Vidya Sagar and come on, Raja Ramohan Roy. We listened about Samaj started by Raja Ramohan Roy, the campaign for which he was against or the social evils he, which he was against, the association that he founded and later on we studied about Rama what you call Iswar Chandra Vidya Saga okay? and all the reforms, movements that he launched and started in India. Now today we are going to study about other two important road reformers in India. To begin with, we will be starting about with Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Now, Swami Dayanand Saraswati is regarded as the greatest reformer of the Hindu society in the 19th century. Is regarded as the greatest Hindu reformer, especially with regard to the Hindu society. He brought a lot of reforms. So he is regarded as the greatest reformer in the Hindu society in the 19th century. Now Swami Dayanand believed that the Vedas, the Vedas were the fountain head of all knowledge. That means he told that Vedas had the knowledge for everything. And the truth about Hinduism lay on the Vedas. That was what he believed. What did he believe? That the Vedas were the fountain head of all religion. Okay? Now, as a reformer, what he did was he launched a campaign against irrational and evil practices. Okay? That means he was against irrational, that means unscientific uh, practices and evil practices that had entered into the Hindu society. Okay, lot of irrational practices, rituals, etc. had entered the Hindu society in the 19th century. So he was against all those irrational and evil practices. And he tried his level best to bring Hinduism and the society, Hindu society into its original Purity. That means to the original form when it had begun. Now, as a reformer, like Raja Ramohan Roy, he also propagated certain religious ideas or the beliefs, or he also told or propagated new ideas, such as first and foremost, what he said was he said was there is only one God. One God. Okay? He, like Raja Ramohan Roy, believed that there is only one. God. One more. Second thing, he told that all are equal. All are equal. That means there is no discrimination, distinction between human beings, man, women, and the society. Okay? Third one, what he told was he told that it is wrong to worship idols. Wrong to worship idols and perform meaningless rituals and so on. So he was against all this. And finally, he was the first one, one of the reformers who blamed the Brahmana priest for misleading the people. Okay? He, what did he do? He blamed or he told that the Brahmana priest. Brahmana priests were responsible for misleading the people and supporting irrational practices. This is the fourth thing that he told. What is the first one? He believed that there is only one God. Then he told, propagated, all are equal. Third one, he, like Raja Ramon Roy, told, it is not, it is wrong to worship idols and perform meaningful rituals. And he blamed the Brahmana priest for misleading the society and supporting, encouraging irrational practices that was in the 
Indian society. Now, like Raja Ramon Roy, Swami Dharan Saraswati also started an organization known as the Arya Samaj. In 1875, okay, he founded a Samaj known as the Arya Samaj. This Arya Samaj, like the Brahma Samaj, was against social evils such as caste system, untouchability, child marriages. These were the social evils that was there. And Raja Rama Roy also was against it. Swami Dhan Saraswati was also against what? Caste system, untouchability and child marriages that was there in the Indian society those days. And he, like the previous reformers such as Raja Ramon Roy and Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sarkar supported women education or the education of women and widow remarriage. Got it? The associated that was against, what are they? Child marriage, untouchability, caste discriminations. What did he support? He supported education of women and widow remarriages. You can learn if you have this much in mind, that is more than enough for the Swami Dhanam Saraswati. Next, personality that we'll be learning or we need to know about as a reformer in the Indian society in the 19th century was or is what you call the next one will have Rama Krishna Paramahansa. Rama Krishna Paramahansa. Now Rama Krishna Paramahansa was a simple person. He was a priest. He was a priest in one of the temple, Kali temple in Dakshineswar in Calcutta. He was a simple priest. Where? Well, in one of the temple of Goddess Kali in Dakshineswar in Calcutta. Now, Rama Krishna Paramahansa did not have any formal education, which means he had not gone to any schools. But he had a very, very clear understanding of the Vedantic philosophy. What, did, what happened? He had a clear understanding of the Vedanta, Vedantic philosophies. As a priest, his teachings were very simple, very, very simple, and all common men could understand easily. And his simple teachings attracted many 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 people they many people came and listened to him okay now his teachings first teaching what he told was all religion there are different religions and all this religion are different path to one true God Different religion, what are they? They are paths on way to one true God. Next one, what he said was next thing that he said was that service to humanity was service to God. That means when you are serving human beings, looking after humanity, that means you are serving God. What did it say? The second one, service to Mankind, humanity was service to God. So these are the two important teachings of Ramakrishna Paramahansa. What are they? He said there are different religions and all these different religions are the different paths to reach one true God. Second thing important thing that he told was service to mankind or humanity was service to God. Now because of a simple teaching as I told you before, many people were attracted towards him. And he had one very very popular or ardent or a strong follower who was known as Narendra Nandata. Narayana Dutta, amongst many of his followers, 
Narendra Dutta was one of the true and ardent strong follower of the teachings of Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Narendra Dutta is no one but Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda. Narendra Dutta was one of the strong ardent follower of Ramakrishna Parma Hansa, who later on today popularly we know him, know him as Swami Vivekananda. Okay, now Swami Vivekananda or Narendra Dutta, like Ramakrishna, since he was the follower of Ramakrishna, believed in unity of all religion. What did he do? Believe in unity of all religion. Unity of all religion. And what do you think? He emphasized, he stressed on religious tolerance, brotherhood, peace, harmony. Okay? He believed in that all the religions should be united and one should be tolerant to others' religion and we should be one. Treat one another as brothers, the principles of fraternity, and what do you call? trying to maintain and encourage peace. That is what Narendra believed. And added to that, what Narendra Dutta told was that Indian people were responsible for the decline and degradation of the Indian society. He told that we Indians were responsible for the decline and the degradation of the Indian society Therefore, it was a basic responsibility or a basic social responsibility of every Indian to regenerate the society, to regenerate the society. That is what he believed or that is the idea that was proclaimed by whom? Narendra Dutta. Okay, and Narendra Dutta, like other reformers, social reformers, or Swami Vivekananda, like other social reformers such as Swami Dhanan Saraswati, Iswar Chandra, Vidya Sagar, Raja Ramu, and Roy, what did he do? He also condemned caste system and added to that, he told or did not want any social inequality. He was against any social in equality, superstition, etc. Okay, what happened? What did he say? He condemned caste system and social and economic inequalities. Okay? Added to that, he was against all superstition. And one of the most important things that Swami Vivekananda did was he established a mission known as Ramakrishna Mission. known as Rama Krishna Mission, okay? In the name of his teacher, Rama Krishna Paramahansa, a mission was established, okay? Now, what was the purpose, the, what was the intention of this Rama Krishna Mission? This Rama Krishna Mission was founded by what he called Swami Vivekananda in order to, which wanted to transform Indian society. Okay, to change Indian society through selfless social service. Through what? Selfless social service. And to spread up education, removal of ignorance and social inequalities. Ramakrishna Mish, what you call? Swami Vivekananda established a mission known as Ramakrishna Mission with the purpose. What was the purpose? to transform Indian society, to change Indian society. How? Through selfless social service, spread of education and removal of ignorance. That means you have to be educated and social inequalities. So these are the things which I have told you briefly and these are the things that you need to know. Okay? If you go through the book, these are the ideas or these are things your books also will be talking about. So this much for today. In the next class, I'll be coming with giving you some assignments. 
based on the topic which you have completed till now. Okay, and let's see some of the other reformers which are necessary for you to learn. So till then, okay, this was for today. Do take care, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.